Hello, my name is Adrienne Dara, and I'm a doctoral candidate in the Penn State Belisario College of Communications. I'm also teaching faculty in the Penn State College of the Liberal Arts. As an older doctoral student, I want to share some advice with those of you who might be questioning whether or not to pursue a doctorate, or for those of you who are questioning whether or not to stay in your doctoral programs. First, it is never too late to begin. We all have our own paths, and while your path may not be reflective of your classmates, you still belong in the room. You should own that. Your age does not bring with it any deficiencies. In fact, you'll find your life experiences will help you immensely through your doctoral program. Second, understand that your experiences are going to be different from your classmates. And this goes for everyone, not just older students. There's this tendency to compare ourselves with our classmates, which is a very slippery and also depressing and downright unhealthy slope. Your benchmarks are your own. You come into the program with your own experiences, with, which automatically set you apart from your classmates. So if you didn't come into the program with a strong research background, don't begin to hyperventilate when your classmates who are in their first months of their doctoral program are being published. I have two professional masters, and while I did not focus on research when I was in my master's programs, unlike my classmates who did, it was a learning experience for me not to have those moments of self-defeat because I wasn't capable of publishing six months into my program. Keep in mind that at every turn, someone will want to give you advice. Take this video for example. If you haven't already done so, take a look at academic Twitter. At the end of the day, remember, no matter who you are or what your goals are, you must do what's right for you. If you're pushed into doing something you find you have no interest in, it will make an already difficult experience that much more miserable and horrid. Along the same vein, if you have a plan or a goal going into your doctoral program, don't let anybody veer you from that goal, no matter how well-intentioned they may be, may be. It's great to hear from people who have been in this role before and to hear their experiences and to weigh their opinions. But at the end of the day, the experience is yours and you came into it with a plan. When I started my PhD program, I knew that I did not want to pursue a tenure track position. I wanted to teach. I didn't want to do research. I had no interest in research, but I knew that research was part of the process. And along the way, I've had a few professors and a few peers try to change my mind on pursuing a tenure position once I graduated. But I knew what I wanted. I recently accepted a teaching faculty position, exactly what I came into my program to pursue, and I have absolutely no regrets. It's fine to have moments of doubt. It's even perfectly acceptable to question whether or not you want to continue to pursue your degree. I have moments where I'm like, that's it, I'm done, no more. But it's important to understand that you earned your place in the program. And if you're considering dropping out or not applying because you think you're not good enough or you never will be, you have to let that go. And I know personally that is easier said than done. For those of you with families, and this is going to be really hard to hear, you need to understand that there will be give and take between your program and your family. You simply do not have the time to do it all. It's just not humanly possible. So if that means you miss your child's soccer game or you do not put as much effort into an assignment that you normally would, that's a choice you're gonna to have to make. And you're gonna to have to make it regularly. And you're, not, you're gonna to have to not feel guilty about it. Time can always be made for the really important things, but understand that you'll perpetually be deciding what takes priority and what does not. And if you, if you can't spend time with your family or on as much research as you like, that's fine. There's no harm in that. You will be fine. Publishing. It's a beast. Um, it is something that you will have to do. Um, some of you will have to publish multiple times during your program. That's just the reality, especially if you want to pursue a tenure track position. In these instances, it helps to find classmates, peers, and professors to work with, as this will help cut down the amount of work that you are directly responsible for and increase your number of pub publications. Finally, and this is the most important point that I must remind myself of on an almost daily basis, when you're stressed and it seems like everything is awful and you're never going to succeed, remember that this is a choice. You made this choice and nobody is forcing you to pursue this doctorate. 
This is not intended to make you feel bad or guilty, but a reminder to regularly recall all the optimism and hope that you had going into your doctoral program. As a PS, for your own sanity, ignore the negativity on social media. Every field and every sector has its pros and cons, but it seems as if academia gets unfairly skewered online. You will eventually figure out if you've made the right choice and if academia is the place for you. If it's not, that's fine. You'll find your place. Good luck. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more academia related content, then please subscribe to the PHC Place YouTube channel.